This is the history of Bethel from 1935 to 2015. The first era, from 1935 to 1954, Bethel Free Pentecostal Church traces its beginnings back to the early 1930s under the ministry of Reverend E.E. E. Mannering, who pastored a mission in East Alton and Alton. In 1935, Reverend Mannering felt led to start a new church in East Alton at 300 Lincoln Street, constructing a 30 by 40 foot auditorium and two rooms at the back of the church for the pastor's quarters. Thus, Bethel Free Pentecostal Church was founded. The restrooms were out back, and the pot-bellied stove served as the main source of heat. It is told that if Brother Mannering was speaking too long, his wife would rattle the stove door and stir up the coals. God blessed the work. The spirit of revival drew crowds until it seemed there were as many on the outside as there were inside. Brother Mannering remained as pastor until 1944, when one Sunday morning he went to start the fire in the stove before the service and suffered a stroke. Other pastors during the first era include the Reverend Frank Moffat, who dug the basement under the main part of the building to provide rooms for Sunday school. Reverend Harvey McComas pastored for about a year and is remembered for his teaching ministry and use of charts. Reverend Harold Carter pastored from 1947 to 1949. He built two more rooms for the pastor's quarters along with the basement under all the living quarters. God blessed the church with great revival, with much Pentecostal type rejoicing and dancing in the spirit. That special bracing was put under the floor for fear it would collapse. Reverend C.A. Wagner and family came to Bethel in 1949 for four years. Under his ministry, a gospel radio program was aired, and several young men entered the ministry. Brother Wagner's ministry in prophecy and teaching was a great blessing. Their family were a great help with their music ability. Reverend Wagner resigned to take a pastorate in Paducah, Kentucky, for a couple of years. He encouraged Brother Kenneth Brand and Vera May Puckett to get married and pastor the church in Kentucky so he could return to Bethel. He was there for another two years, but because of health problems, resigned and returned to his hometown of Carmi, Illinois. In 1954 through 1955, a young man from Canada named Moses Vey and his wife became pastor and stayed for about a year. Hi, I'm Cheryl Carter. My dad was Harold Carter, who pastored the Bethel Church in East Alton on 3rd and Lincoln uh, in 1947 through 1949. Uh, that would have put me back in the first grade or just before the first grade there. Uh, I remember we lived in the back part of the church. Uh, we had a four-room apartment back there attached. and uh, There was five of us living back there in those four rooms. I think my oldest brother slept in the Sunday school room during the week. But uh, I, those were good memories, uh, a good church, good people there. I remember a lot of the families there. We had a revival there. The, the one thing that stands out in my mind was Wayne Owen. Uh, that was before he was uh, married to Sister Maxine Owen. Uh, he was traveling with his brother, Hawita, and his sister, Doretha. And they were called the Gospel Troubadours. And they held a revival there for six weeks. And that place was packed out every night. And if you can imagine the five of us living in our four-room apartment, but we also kept the, the three evangelists back there also, and Mom cooked three meals a day and did everybody's laundry and all that sort of thing, which is what preachers did back in those days. Uh, I think Dad's main ministry uh, was building something. He always, everywhere he went, I think he did some repairs on that church uh, back in the back, but everywhere he went, his, his call was to, uh, build a parsonage or remodel a church or, or whatever. That was that was the main call of his ministry. But those were good memories. Uh, I was very young, but uh, had a good time there. Let's start with Brother and Sister Wagner. Their whole family was a very happy family. Brother Wagner loved to use illustrations when he did his, his messages. And one time he was... Um, preaching on David and Goliath, and he had a songbook in his hand, 
and when he's talking about David throwing the stone, he threw the book and it made a hole in the wall. I'm Barbara Wagner Church, and I want to share with you our ministry here at Bethel. And our father, Chancy Wagner, and mother Vita Wagner came to pastor Bethel in 1949. I was 10 years old, and my sister was five years old, and David was not born yet. So uh, our family, at the beginning, they lived in Carmi, Illinois at the time, and they received a phone call to see if my dad would come and pastor Bethel. So at that time, our dad was preaching at my grandfather's church. He had passed away, so my dad was uh, preaching there, and our dad also owned a very uh, good grocery store, and um, they had just built a brand new home. So he went to the dining room chair and uh, started praying. He started praying to the Lord. He started praying in the Spirit, and he said, Lord, what am I saying? What should I do? And uh, the interpretation was this, have I not called thee, have I not sent thee forth, I will protect thee. So my dad sold his store that he loved, they left their new home, and the other, his mom and dad and brothers, and uh, we moved to Bethel. We lived in the four rooms behind Bethel. So uh, our mother played the piano, and she was a great help to our, my father in, in every way. And when the evangelists came for revival, mom would cook three good meals every day. And sometimes the revival would last three or four weeks. So she was a pretty busy lady. <laughs> Dad was a great preacher. He preached a lot about prophecy, and he was very anointed of the Lord. But in 1953, a church in Paducah, Kentucky called and wanted my, our dad to come there and meet pastor. So he went there and uh, then in 19, see, 1953 he went to Paducah. Then in 1955 the board members of Bethel called him to come back here. So he did that. He came back here because his heart was always at Bethel. And at that time, he asked brother and sister uh, Kenneth Brand if they would take the church in Paducah. And so they took the church in Paducah. So after my dad came back, there was a great outpouring of revival was happening, and many people were saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. And in 1957, dad's health became uh, not very good. And so we left Bethel, and we moved back to our hometown in Carmi, Illinois, for him to get rest. And so Bethel is our heritage and very special to us. Years later, our family moved back to this area, and my dad pastored a church in Hartford. And the reason he came back to here, I believe, was his heart was always here. I couldn't agree more. I'm David Wagner, uh, Barbara's brother, and like she said, I wasn't here until about 1952 when I was born, but as a young child, uh, I guess maybe I was around age six to eight, something like that, I do remember uh, many of the things, many of the missionary evangelists that would come by, and I think one of the things I remember about my dad the most is although he would mention the things that he gave up to come here, and he put his entire heart into this ministry in Bethel. I want to concentrate, uh, as I speak today, to just tell you the things that he gained. And what he gained was a heritage of faith for our entire family. The Lord gave him that because all of his children are still in the ministry today. We've never wavered from the faith, not even uh, the children that Barbara has, but also our nieces and our nephews, every one of us, uh, even the, the ones that we married are in the ministry today. My wife and I have been married 40 years. We're in the ministry. Barbara and her husband, Fred, are in the ministry. And it's just a joy to say we have a testimony not of drugs or that we were in prison and things like that, but we have a testimony to say that we have been kept by the power of God. I'm also privileged to have uh, our dad's library 
and I, I just brought with me just to mention here's he scripted every one of his messages and I have here one of his own typewritten sermons uh, and it says uh, preached at Bethel Sunday night July the 4th 1954 C.A. Wagner and it's from Isaiah 26 and Isaiah 24 uh, about a coming worldwide revival uh, to the end of his death he was still looking to the coming of the Lord and for multitudes of people to be saved uh, to go in the rapture of the church that's what we look forward to today is our blessed hope and we want to say God bless you to every one of you here at Bethel today on your anniversary God bless you